Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and this evening I have come back to do a stamping demo for you with this plate. I don't have my other two plates that I ordered, but I figured since I like this polish so much, I would come back and do a stamping demo with this. Sadly, I realized one of the colors I forgot to swatch in my Nutcracker OPI polish was Dancing Keeps Me On My Toes. So what I'm going to do when my other two plates come in, because they'll probably come in this weekend, is I will have this on one hand to demonstrate it. I'll just stamp something on it, and I'm so sorry about that. This is a really pretty white frosty polish, and I remember back when I was a little kid, this was like a color, I guess, of the 60s. I would see this all the time, but I really do like these kinds of polish, and I thought I had one, but I don't, so I will get a couple more. And I got this one because I missed out on the one in the Hello Kitty line. Now, also, I wanted to utilize my Control-Alt-Delete, which is like a latex barrier. Um, but look what happened, guys, when I opened it up. Like, this is, like, useless. I don't think there's anything that I can do with this. And I can't tell... Like, there's not even any that I can pour out. So this does happen with these kinds of things sometimes if you do not have them sealed tight enough. And if there is a remedy for this, I don't know it, but I do think that this is probably too far past those stages. Um, I know a lot of people take this kind of product out of the bottles that um, we used to get off of Amazon and would put them in something decanting them, but... I think that my bottle is 100% too far gone, as you can see those pieces there. So I will probably just stamp without it. And there is nothing here. As you can see, my whole brush and everything is dry. So we're just going to stamp with my blue. And I don't think I have another barrier. If I do, I do not know where it is. So I'm going to clean this mess up. And we're going to get to trying out this plate. So the odd thing is, guys, I was able to get enough out of there to go ahead and do this. So we'll try this one hand. The shade that I am using is my Dreams Need Clarification. I will be trying this shade with some of my other um, frosty polishes and glitters and things that I like. Uh, my Gwen Stefani one is one that I like putting over stuff. This is gorgeous. And even though I just got this a few days ago, I think it's safe to say that I might get another one of these, depending on how I use this. I really like this even for right now. So as you know, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to clean my plate. I'm going to be using my navy blue number, is that three? Yes, number three polish. My polishes have not come in yet from my um, Mundo de Unis order. Sometimes it can take up to a month to get those because the very first time that I ordered, I got scared. And I had a computer then and I was able to track my order and it turns out they were held up in customs in New York because they were from Mexico. She was real new. She didn't have labels on them like this. And I think that still occurs. It had nothing to do with the newness. It's the fact that it's coming from Mexico and all of our laws and things like that that I don't fully understand. So if you order from Mundo de Unis or you have ordered and you wonder where your items are and you can't check on a computer, customs can hold that stuff up to seven or more days, I think, and it does happen. Do not worry, you will get your orders. Everything I have ever ordered from her, her I get, which is why when a lot of us order, we order in bulk or as many as we possibly can. So here are the images on this plate. And it's a little bit difficult to see even more so with the paper that I pulled off of there, but I want to try to hold that where you could see it. I really love this. And like I said, number two is a bigger version. Um, you get less images, but they're bigger. And I did show that in one of um, my videos a while back. So we're going to let this dry and I got to be careful not to touch hands and we'll get started. The first image that I think I would like to try, or the first few I will share with you here, is definitely this house, definitely this bird over here, because I really do like those. So we're going to try that out. We're going to see how this goes. Now, this house does have a deep groove in it, and I'm going to try this on the thumb. And I will say, you've often heard me say that black is a messy color to stamp with, well, navy blue is just as messy, like my fingers are going to be stained here. That is what it looks like, and I don't have time to leave it there. 
and we are going to stamp this on the thumb. I'm not very good at aiming, but as you can see, that turned out. I have my little, what is this thing, a little lint roller over here. And the next one that I'm going to try for you is going to be that bird. I think was a little bit more length. What I would love to see, Miss Sarah R. that I follow on here, she does some of the best nail stamping. I would love to see anything at all that she creates with this plate. I didn't get a good stamp there, so we're going to start that one over. But I'll show you what I got so far. But I would love to see what she does with these particular plates because her looks are fantastic. I will say that if an image has grooves so deep that you can't really use a um, little cotton pad like I'm using and you find that it comes off of there, you can use a brush. And I really hope you can see this because it's stamped decently. But I don't know what to do to make that come on and show ya. Try it like that. It'll be upside down. I don't know what to do to make this thing hurry up, but hopefully you guys can make that out. I really do like that. I'm also interested in these flowers over here. I'm so sorry, I thought I had the camera on. What I did was one of these images right here that the whole image is the polish and then your polish shines through. This one right here. These are the kinds of images that I like for multicolored polish underneath. And then I did the same thing with this one with the little flower. So I'm sorry. I really thought that I had the camera going during that time. Now I'm going to try to wipe this up a little bit. This particular plate is deeply etched. And that's why I say that sometimes if these cotton rounds aren't enough for this kind of plate or you seem to be getting pieces of it in there, you can clean these images with a brush and then pat it with your cotton round. Because as I can see, I can see pieces on there. So what I would like to try next is this image here. And I really do love this plate. If I end up not keeping on what I'm doing here because I'm doing such a varied look here, I'm definitely going to come back and put some of these images on here because I really do like that. And the difference with this barrier stuff is it keeps the nail from needing to be cleaned up so much. So I'm gonna do one more. I think we're gonna try one of these full nail images down here because I haven't shown you those and that just about covers up the whole nail. And then you can angle these the way that you want them. And then with this barrier stuff, you just pull it off with your tweezers. Now I usually have to watch because a lot of times because I'm not used to using this, I will forget. And if your fingers touch like this accidentally, then that will stick but I think since this had a chance to dry out and it's a little bit older which I can't believe it did that this just keeps you from having to clean up as much as you normally would and again if you're not nail stamping you should give it a try you could have a manicure party um, even if you have young girls that are of the age where you let them wear nail polish a stamping party would be good for them as part of their little pajama party or just like during the holidays when you let your kids have company and things like that. This is good for all ages. So I'm going to clean this plate up a little bit and I'm going to do a few more images for you. So again, as you can see, this is a very messy process with these colors, black, navy. My white's a little less messy, but I will come back and I will share with you this polish with stamping. Again, tonight we use my new OPI, the Nutcracker. Dreams need clarification. My base coat was something that is 
I was trying to use up because it doesn't really hold polish on. It's called the Gooey, and they had another one that was watermelon scented that was expired, or not expired, that was um, discontinued when I found this, and they were advertising this as the same thing, and it wasn't. This is something I used to use a lot when I'd swatch because if I put it on under a polish expecting it to stay on, it did not held, hold up. However, if you do like adhering base coats, CND Sticky is a good one. The Glisten and Glow Stuck on Blue and the China Glaze Adhering Base Coat. I used to give that away a lot. Um, again, the polish that I stamped with was this navy blue. And I used a coat of Sesh Vite after my polish and after my stamping. This is the plate that I use, the Porcelain Plate 01. These are $9.99 at uh, MoU London. But these are not on the MoU London American site that I've seen. They're only on the one that I ordered from the UK. Again, if Miss Sarah R has this plate, I'm sure she'll do some phenomenal looks because her stamping is like... I don't even know what to say. It is great. And she does some... Even her little simple looks are beautiful. But this is a little finished look. Um, and I'm going to be taking this off <laughs> just because I like this hand right here, but I want to do a little something else, but I just wanted to share with you guys this plate and I didn't want to wait. So again, I'm going to try to hold this so that you can see this. These are the more solid images. As you can see, I still got a little bit of stuff here. The first hand washing did nothing. I'm going to have to wash my hands several more times, but I'm not going to take this right off. I'll probably take it off tomorrow before work because I really, really, really guys want to wear this gold but this will come off with a few hand washing so until the next time everyone have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will get this plate and I'm going to spend some time cleaning this up so have a good night everyone